أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد my dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends, I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. Uh, we've heard the sad news in recent uh, weeks and days about the fire in Fort McMurray in Alberta, and I wanted to take this opportunity today to make a special dua, a special prayer for all the victims of the fire, all those families that have been driven from their homes and lost so much. Uh, make special dua for all the victims of the fire in Fort, Fort McMurray. Uh, and also for the firefighters that did a great job of uh, protecting property and the lives of people. May God Almighty bless all of them and, and everyone that helped uh, out in whatever way. And I want to encourage all of you to continue to help uh, the families and the victims of the fire so that they can uh, have some ease and comfort in their lives. And uh, I kindly request you to join me now in reciting Surah Al-Fatiha to make this uh, special prayer and supplication that God Almighty will bring ease to the victims of the fire in Fort McMurray in Alberta. Please raise hands and join me in dua. ربنا تقبل منا ربنا بسير الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين آمين مي الله سبحانه وتعالى help them and grant them ease from their suffering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us and our families. We are in the month of Sha'aban, as I mentioned in our last program. And once again, special greetings, Sha'aban, Mubarak greetings for each and every one of you. This is a special month for the believers. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved this month of Sha'aban that we are in right now. And today is the seventh day of the month of Sha'aban. And he treated this month in a special way. In fact, this month is called Shahr rasul the month of the Messenger of Allah, the, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was preceded by the previous month of Rajab, referred to Shahrullah, the month of Allah, and this month of Sha'ban will be followed by the great month of Ramadan, Shahrun lil Mu'minin, the month for the believers. So a special three-month period of time, we've, we've passed through one of them, uh, one month Rajab so far, and we're now at the beginning 
beginning of the month of Sha'aban. And I want to remind you of some of the special things you should do in the month of Sha'aban. First of all, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made special dua for this month. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'abana wa balikna ramadan. And I, I want to encourage you to recite this dua, this prophetic dua, every day, maybe in the evening, after Maghrib, after Isha Salah. If you can do it 70 times every night, it would be wonderful for you. Great spiritual blessings will come your way. But recite this dua as much as you, you can. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'abana wa balikna ramadan. Ya Allah bless us uh, for the month of Rajab. Even it's gone by, then we beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept the good deeds we did in Rajab, to forgive us of any mistakes and sins we may have committed, to let that be a good time for us. And now, bless us in this month of, of Sha'aban, let it be a good, blessed month for us. And then the coming month of Ramadan, bless us in that month of Ramadan. Let us be alive to meet the month, to greet the month, to spend the, the month of Ramadan in a deserving way, inshallah. So the dua that we should do. Also, at the beginning of this month, uh, we want to uh, recommend that you do ghusl for the month of Sha'aban. This is the way of the awliya. Uh, they will do this to welcome the month of, of Sha'aban, this great month of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And thirdly, to perform two rakat of nafil salah for the month of Sha'aban, to welcome it and pray to God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to bless you in this month of Sha'aban and bless the month of Sha'aban for you as well. So things that you be mindful of to do in this month of uh, Sha'aban. The pinnacle of this month of Sha'aban, the high point of the month of Sha'aban, similar to uh, Rajab, we mentioned in Rajab, the high point, the pinnacle, the acme of the month of Rajab was the 27th of Rajab, the occasion of Miraj and Nabi. And so, in a similar manner, in this month of Sha'aban, the special event of the month, the high point of the month is Nisf Sha'aban. The, the mid of the month of Sha'aban, the night of the 15th of Sha'aban, and, and we will talk something more about that in our program today and next week's program as well to prepare you for this great night of Nisf Sha'aban that you can observe in a special way. And so today in our program, we want you to be mindful of the month of Sha'aban and of its great virtues. Uh, it, it is called the month of Rasulullah, the month of the Messenger of Allah uh, for, for many wonderful reasons that we will share with you in, in our program today, inshallah. Uh, so do be mindful about what you do in this month of Sha'aban because this is a bridge to Ramadan. Sha'aban is the bridge to Ramadan. You want to prepare in this month of Sha'aban to do as much good deeds as, as you can do to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to prepare to welcome the month of Ramadan. So the Prophet alayhi salatu salam would do exactly that. He would, he would fast in this month of Sha'aban more than in any other month except the month of Ramadan, which is a complete month of compulsory fasting. And, and so the fourth thing I want to advise you to do today is to start fasting in this month of Sha'aban. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you to do these good deeds in this blessed, sacred, uh, and great month of Sha'aban. Amin, amin. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. It was narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, 
It was the day I was born. <laughs> As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them, as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and Shaaban Mubarak. Greetings to each and every one of you. Special greetings for this occasion of the blessed month of Shaaban, this great month that's with us, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Last week we had a special Maulid on last Saturday at Islamic Forum. Uh, there was the final event uh, of the commemoration of the great occasion of Miraj Nabi. And among the things we did last Saturday was a special procession of lights that we had at the Islamic Forum. It was amazing indeed. Uh, many families participated, and especially the children uh, that were there, they enjoyed themselves tremendously. We had this model of the Kaaba that the brothers built, and uh, we, we had this procession, and there were lights and sparklers for the children and so on, and Qasides that were recited, especially the special Qasida for the event of Miraj and Nabi fi Laylatin Tatazayya. Bin Nuri wal Ishraqi, Jibrilu Ja and Nabiya, Yeduhu Fauk al Buraki, beautiful words of poetry we recited uh, for this special procession of lights last week at the Islam Forum. We want to thank everyone who made it possible. Then uh, last Saturday at Maulid also we had a special dua and supplication pray for all our mothers. As you know, last Sunday was uh, Mother's Day, and so we used that occasion to remind ourselves of our duties to our mothers and what what Islam teaches us about uh, taking care of our mothers. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions al-jannah to tahta aqdam al-ummahat. Heaven lies at the feet of your mothers, meaning that you serve your mother, you take care of them, you will gain entry into jannah. So I want to encourage all of you once again to be mindful of your treatment of your parents. Treat your parents well, your fathers and your mothers, uh, with kindness, uh, with generosity of spirit. Uh, take care of them, strive to make them happy, uh, strive to encourage them to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for that is about the best gift you can give to anyone indeed. Uh, we also had the special program uh, last Saturday. We did special prayer for the victims of the fire in Fort McMurray in Alberta. Uh, and I want to encourage you to help the victims in any way you can, and especially with your monetary contributions to them, that uh, they can have some ease from their suffering and some comfort, inshallah. We continue to pray for them. I also want to remind you of the special program that's coming next Saturday, Saturday, uh, May the 21st. This corresponds to the night of the 15th of this month of Sha'aban, the middle of the month of Sha'aban, the high point, the pinnacle of this month, the spiritual acme of the month, Nisfu Sha'aban, this great occasion, uh, a wonderful night for us to uh, make much dua and supplication to Allah, and especially for our deceased loved ones, our deceased family members, our deceased relatives, our deceased members in our community, our loved ones that have passed away. This is a special night, this annual occasion to make special dua for them, and we'll do this at the Islamic Forum. And once again, if you would like us to make dua for your relatives that have passed away, your family members and loved ones that have passed away, please contact Islamic Forum give us the details, uh, the name of the person, the relationship to you, and uh, when they passed, with the date of their passing, and we would include all of them in our dua uh, next Saturday for the special Nisfa Shaban program. Uh, included in this program is also the visit to the cemetery. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, visited the genital baqi, the cemetery in Medina. Sayyida Aisha related this hadith, uh, and she followed him, and uh, she joined with him in making dua for those who were buried there in this special cemetery in Medina, which incidentally has the largest numbers of Ahlul Bayt in any cemetery anywhere in the world, which has the 
largest numbers of Sahabas, companions of the Prophet buried anywhere in the world because this was the cemetery of Medina. Uh, great personalities are there. The Prophet alayhi salatu salam, remember them, made dua for them. We will be visiting the cemetery and make dua for the deceased believers, inshallah. So that's an all-night program. Next Saturday, the 21st, it starts at 6 p.m. at Islam Forum. We want you to come out for that program and join us and tell others to do so as well. Uh, then the following Saturday, May the 28th, uh, will be the special annual welcome to Ramadan dinner. This is our special dinner. It starts at 4 p.m. at Islamic Forum. Please note the time, 4 p.m. at Islamic Forum, Saturday, May the 28th. Make a note of uh, this time and date so you can come out. You can uh, contact the Islamic Forum and order your tickets today uh, for you, yourself, your family. Invite your relatives and friends to come out to this program as well. We need some sponsors for these upcoming programs. We've divided the expenses in the shares of $50. We hope you can uh, contribute maybe one share at least or more shares today, $50 per share to, for us to take care of the expenses of these programs that we have, inshallah. These are some of the wonderful programs that are coming up at the Islamic Forum. Remember our ongoing programs as well, the school program every Saturday from from 10, 30 in the morning until 3 p.m. Please bring out your family members and register them at Islamic Forum, your children, your teenagers, uh, for the weekend Islamic school every Saturday. Bring them next Saturday, 10.30 p.m., uh, 10.30 a.m. in the morning, inshallah, to join this program, inshallah, the, and the, the Maulid program. Uh, today at 6 p.m., the special family program. We hope to see you there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you indeed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O oh, you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A hajj that is accepted by Allah cannot be rewarded with less than paradise. It was also narrated, Those who visit me in my grave and make salam to me, Allah will return my soul to me so that I can return their salam. It was also narrated, he who makes hedge, and during which does not transgress in word or action, will be forgiven his sins, to become sinless like a newborn. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and Sha'ban Mubarak. Greetings to each and every one of you on this occasion of the blessed month of Sha'ban being here with us. I mentioned uh, some things you should do in this month of Sha'ban. Four things I mentioned so far for the program today. The ghusl that you should perform, the complete ritual bath. Uh, to welcome this month, the two rakat, nafil salat, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to bless this month for you and bless you in this month. The special prophetic dua, the dua of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam, Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balikna Ramadan, seven times every night in this month of Sha'aban, or as many times as you're able to, even seven times or 11 times or 33 times. The more you do, the more the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fourthly, to fast in this month, of Sha'aban, the Prophet Sallallahu loved this month and he loved to fast in this month of Sha'aban and he fasted in this month of Sha'aban more than in any other month except the month of Ramadan which is a month of complete compulsion.
compulsory fasting. So try to fast as much as you can. Uh, maybe the you can follow the, the weekly Sunnah fast on Mondays and Thursdays of this month of Shaban. You try to do that. Then on the 13th, 14th, and 15th of the month of Shaban, you should try to do that. And, and especially the 15th of Shaban, the middle of the month of Shaban. So the, the night of Niswa Shaban, the night of the 15th, uh, next Saturday, uh, and then the following day, the Sunday, which is the 15th of the month of Shaban, to observe the fast at least. Uh, but try to do as much as you can, inshallah. It prepares you well for Ramadan. Also, this month of Shaban is called Shahrul Istighfar, the month of Istighfar, the month of seeking forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so I want to encourage you to spend some time every day seeking forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month of Shaban. And the easiest, simplest formula of seeking forgiveness is Astaghfirullah. Uh, I seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To say those words, to contemplate on your meaning and really in your heart, uh, turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and beg Him for His forgiveness. And the uh, recommended uh, number of times you should do it, the khatam one, the khatam of istighfar for the month of Shaban is 70,000 times. Uh, to recite astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. You know, if you can spend 10 times after each salah, that's uh, a thousand times at least you can do it then. And, and so quickly, you, you should be able to do your 70,000 times. If you're not able to do that, a minimum I want to recommend for you to do is 200 times a day. 100 times in the morning, such as after Fajr, and 100 times in the evening, such as after Maghrib. Uh, so recite Astaghfirullah 100 times. This is good for you uh, to get in the habit of doing this. In month of Shaban and hopefully you'll continue Ramadan and then after Ramadan it becomes a habit that you will remain with you uh, for the rest of your life. It's a great habit to have indeed. Uh, the sixth point I want to mention are things to do for Shaban. Uh, this month of Shaban is called Shahru Salawat, the month of Salawat, the month of invoking blessings on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, and there are wonderful stories uh, or, or facts actually uh, relating to this based on the tafsir of the verses of Quran, the, 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 the ayah of Salawat, in Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi, uh, that ayah was revealed in this month of Sha'aban. Uh, so the month of Salawat to recite Salawat or Darud Sharif from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Khatam uh, for the Salawat is the same as what the, what the Khatam of Istighfar, uh, 70,000 times. If you can do that, you, you, you strive to do it. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad in abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Uh, if you can do 70,000 times, great are the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once again, if you're not able to do that, then at least... 200 times a day, 100 in the morning, 100 in the evening, after Fajr, after Maghrib. Uh, the salawat, for, it's, it's on our website, the sheikhfaisal.com website. All of this information also on the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page. You go there, you'll get this information, including the text of the salawat and what you have to do, the things to do and so on. The seventh point of what you should do in this month of Shaban, this month is, is called Shahrul Tahleel, the month of Tahleel. Tahleel means to reaffirm the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to recite La ilaha illallah. Once again, the khatam is seventh thousand times in month of Shaban, if you're not able to do that, then minimum 200 times a day, 100 in the morning, 100 in the evening. It takes a minute or two to recite La ilaha illallah 100 times, not that long. So, But you have to strive to do this inshallah. Uh, this program, really, we try to uh, focus you on what you have to do at the time, what is best for you to do in the moment you're in. This is how you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, and so these are some of the wonderful things you can do in the month of Sha'aban. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in this blessed month of Sha'aban. <laughs>
Help us make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please, donate generously. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, I, as we conclude our program for today, I want to remember one of the lead volunteers and one of the leaders of the Islamic Forum, Sister Maimoon. It's her birthday tomorrow, and we want to make special offer her. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her. We thank her for all her uh, loyal support and dedication for the Islamic Forum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her and bless her family. I want to thank all the donors that have donated financially to the Islamic Forum in the past month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them. Specifically, I want to mention Sister Bibi Taylor from Winnipeg. Uh, she sent a donation to the Islamic Forum and she also sent a void check for a monthly donation. I hope you can all follow this example. Send a donation today for the Islamic Forum and send us uh, your check, a void check, and let us know how much you want to donate every month and we'll make arrangements for that for you. Sister Bibi Taylor requested dua for her late sister, uh, Sister Aisha Nasir, and her late brother-in-law, Brother Muhammad Habib of Ottawa. We'll make special dua for them uh, today at the Maulid inshallah and also especially next week for the Nisf Shaban program we'll make special dua for them and as I said once again send us the names of your deceased relatives uh, so that we can include them in dua inshallah for the Nisf Shaban program so thanks to Sister Bibi Taylor for her uh, support of the Islamic Forum we hope each and every one of you can make a, a, a generous donation to the Islamic Forum today uh, and also our special welcome to Ramadan program the annual dinner coming up on the 28th of May we hope to see you all there, inshallah. Uh, we, we, we hope that uh, you would follow the advices we shared in today's programs of the things to do in Shaban, specific things that you should do, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you greatly. Just make uh, a little effort uh, to get close to Allah, and He will come uh, running to you literally by bl with His blessings, inshallah. Until we meet again, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. See you same time, same place. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.